The safety of lives and property of the people of any given nation is the bedrock of its socio-economic ebullience, progress and development. The police play a major role in ensuring this safety. Since inception, the Tafade Bayobalogun led administration placed priority on improving the force in all ramifications, manpower development, community relations, improved welfare, just to mention a few. Oshun, the Living Spring, came into existence 13 years ago and is home to the internationally famous Oshun River and more explicitly the Oshun Festival. Not only this, Oshun is also home to the number one policeman in the nation, Tafa Balugun. What is the state of security of lives and property in Oshun State? Are the people of Oshun sleeping with their two eyes closed? Audu Abubakar is the man at the helm of affairs at the Oshun State Police Command. Abubakar, who joined the police force as a cadet inspector in March 1977, was trained at the police college Ikeja. He served in different capacities and departments of the force as he climbed through ranks to his present rank of commissioner of police. When asked about the security of the state, he replies that Oshun State, compared to other places, can be regarded as the most peaceful in terms of crime. He speaks further on the subject of policy in Oshun State. Also on the program, for those who think that 16-year-old boys are too young to hurt a fly, will at the end of the confession segment have a cause to think twice. Welcome to Crime Fighters. Mm. What are the comparative, uh, comparative analysis of the crime rates mm. then, before you came in and when you came in? Yes. Well, uh, when I assumed duty here at the command, the first thing I noticed, even when I was driving, coming to the state on my way. No sooner I reached the border between Ondo and Ocean State, what I noticed was the barrenness of the terrain of presence of police. That means the presence of the police on the ground was very, very scanty. I noticed from that border up to Elysia, that is from Owena, something, Owena. Owena, okay, after the bridge. After the bridge, yes. up to Elysia, I couldn't even see any nipping point. I came to Elysia again, I could hardly notice the presence of police from Elysia. To Oshogbo, I could hardly notice presence of police. Even when I reach the town, Oshogbo, even in the township, I could hardly notice the presence of police. I started wondering, what was it actually happening? So, in my maiden uh, address, when I summoned the DPOs and the area commanders for a meeting and tried to find out what was the reason for that. Though they tried to convince me as to why, but I was not actually convinced. So my first task was to ensure the presence of police was at the highways as and the, in the township, not only in Oshogbo, but in almost all the townships. Because to me, the presence of police anywhere goes to show the presence of government and also will serve as a deterrent to criminals. So I was very, very uncomfortable when I discovered the presence 
of the police on the ground was very, very scanty. So my first task was to ensure that the presence of the police on the ground was maintained. And that was done. Then, as for rate of crime, Initially, it looked as if the policemen actually found it very difficult to maintain that presence on the ground because it looked as if it um, bringing an innovation, a new thing. You know the experience I garnered at FCT. I felt it has to be applied here also. Even though I know different situations requires different application method, but all the same, that presence of police in every given situation cannot be compromised when it comes to policing an area. So initially they were finding it very difficult to be on the ground, but all the same with the proper supervision, proper visiting round, and in some cases even patrolling together with them by my officers at times with me inclusive, we succeeded in maintaining the presence of the police on the ground. Then I try to assess also the rate of crime. When somebody like me who served in FCT for over one year, you know the rate of crime in that place. When I came here, actually, relatively the rate of crime here is much lower than what I experienced at the FCT. What will you quickly point as a crime that is rampant in this state? And what give us an insight into any of them that has given you so much trouble to combat? To be candid, the crime that gives me sleepless nights is the issue of murder. I don't know why human beings like killing human beings with impunity. Human life is sacred and has to be treated sacred. But unfortunately, some of the people one slightest provocation, the next thing is to kill. So today, and one thing I had in my life, to take human life. Therefore, if there is any crime which is prevalent here today, is this issue of murder. Simple misunderstanding on fab land, murder. Simple misunderstanding between a good chieftaincy something, murder. Land murder, murder. Every slightest provocation, murder. Some you cannot even explain the reason for such murders. I don't actually know what contributes to this. So if I were to be sincere with you, what is giving me a lot of headache and the sleepless night and the sadness today here is the prevalence of this killing, 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 killing. Okay, sir. So now we would also ask you, sir. But luckily, most of those who committed such murders are not 
likely to go scot free. Most of them are arrested and they are facing prosecution right now. So now I want to talk about the uh, issue of uh, policing in the state now. Uh, it's all over the reports have it that uh, the stolen and vandalized equipment worth millions of naira at the FRCN, uh, the gold FM militia to be precise. So, uh, according to reports, your men were supposedly guarding the police. What can you tell us about this? No, to be candid, not that uh, my men are supposedly guarding the place. My men are, so, are guarding the place. Okay. They are being posted to guard the place. Up to today, they have been forced there to guard the place. But when this incident happened, our investigation showed that that very day, the two policemen posted there did not turn up for duty. And the excuses given by the two of them were not tenable. In fact, they had even been tried and dismissed. So that is the position of things. And since then, before the incident, we have been forcing police. After the incident, also, we have been forcing the pol forcing police. But unfortunately, those two policemen put the command in a very embarrassing situation when they failed to turn up that day. And even their officers who did not supervise them very well are also sanctioned. Yes. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, still on that note, sir, mm -hmm. it leads me to ask you this question. Extortion. It is something that has become characterized with the rank and file, especially in the police force. States like Oyo, Lagos, and even Ogun have taken steps to combat this. What will you say about the level of this menace in your command and what are the things on ground to combat them? Well, uh, I luckily, uh, before reaching Abuja, I have had so many commands. even though I don't want to confer. But we have done everything humanly possible to see that the case of extortion here is brought to a bearest minimum. And the steps taken are many. One, we have the CP monitoring unit. That unit is responsible for going around all the divisions and the area commands. and ensuring that the men posted on highways and other places are not involved in incivility to members of the public or extorting money. Where they find such nipping points or checkpoints or such police, are involved in such. They are empowered to points or such police are involved in such. They are empowered to arrest them. 
detain them, investigate the case, and even try them where officers are involved, even to issue queries. As I am talking to you now, 